Hi, I'm Cash, and welcome to Cash Talks Football, where I'm breaking down all the goals in the... Ah, not the Premier League today, it's the FA Cup. I've not been doing very many of the FA Cup games, just because there's, uh, I don't know, kind of too many to do. So I've um, just been sort of steering clear. Uh, I was going to comment on the Arsenal-Liverpool game, but I'm doing a little bit more of a breakdown on why Arsenal can't score goals. I did call it last year. If uh, I'll put the link in the description of this video. I called out why Arsenal were going to fall off about this time at the beginning of the season. So I'm trying to put a video together about why they can't score goals. Um, so that's why I haven't really covered that game. But I'll probably be covering the Chelsea one in that tomorrow. But uh, today we're doing the Manchester United against Wigan. And also, I, I did watch this game. I, I try to catch a lot of the United games because there's lots of controversy around a lot of their players. And I have to say, Rashford shouldn't be playing football at this level. Every single time he touches the ball, he just basically stops, tries to drop his shoulder and smash the ball of the goal as hard as he can. Uh, like if that's acceptable for his manager, fine, but that wouldn't be acceptable for me or his fan base. Here we're taking a situation, um, and let's just move it forward a little bit, and this is the old Rashford. Uh, ball comes down, dosh, dosh. All he's looking to do is try to beat the player. Trying to beat the player and have a whack at the goal. And honestly, in, in this game, I'm not too bothered about that. That probably makes sense. Uh, what a Wigan League One side, um, just a mid table I think, or a little bit higher. Um, but uh, yeah, trying to beat the player finally lays off a pass. But have a look what happens here. You know when I talk about people getting magnetised to the ball. Look at these faces. Everyone is trying hard but with no purpose. So what does that mean, Cash? They're all looking to defend something without looking around and seeing what else is going to happen. Look how close they are in this little box and look at how much space they've allowed to happen. And no one has picked up on it. This is what happens when you're dropping deep and you're panicking. Look at these two defenders. The keeper should have been telling them to push, 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 get out, get out. The reason why you make mistakes like this is because basically you're nervous. You just got these, these guys got no confidence whatsoever here in this situation and also look you've got two people challenging for the one ball so clearly the guy that should be covering this space is now over pressured here because he's panicking he's worried it's man united oh gotta get the ball it's premier league players gotta tackle them and all of a sudden the ball's flicked up to this space here and quite honestly this guy here dallow um I think he's a right back playing left back. He's got all the time and space in the world, but it's still a quality finish. He has to put it through a body of players. But you can see the energy and the intent, and they're running too hard without thinking. Wigan actually could pass the ball around a bit, and, you know, they can play a bit of football, which I wouldn't have done if I was a Wigan manager. I would have uh, played that Dallow kitty because he's playing out of position and rattled his game all day long. But. This is the problem when you've made a mistake. Everyone is now sprinting to the ball to try to create a pro uh, sorry, try to uh, stop the problem that they've created. They created that problem by all just panicking and focusing on the uh, Rashford over there in the corner. No one was looking around, and the next thing they know, the ball's in the corner, right in the corner of the net box. Quality finish for the wee man. But let's get on to the point that we're all here for: is the blatant dive from Bruno Fernandez. So as much as I've been ragging on Rashford, you've got to give him credit for the two things he did in the game. It's probably the only two passes he did. This is the second one. He's taken the guy to the byline. He's turned it back again. Can you see that they created that space? The first thing I'd been yelling at in the dressing room is like, guys, you've already been beaten the once by getting pulled back so deep. Don't let it happen again. If he breaks you to the byline, two people don't go. Make sure you're covering the space so he can't get that, knock it, uh, that little cutback getting behind. And the same thing happens again. Like, if Ten Hag, by the way, was a decent manager, he would have, like, told his players this three or four times and they would have got nine or ten goals. But they didn't because they weren't watching. A lot of people watch football and don't see football, if that makes sense. They think they know football, but they actually don't. The simple things that appear, they completely and utterly miss because they're wrapped up in all this other egotistical stuff. And that's the simple thing that United could have done all day long if they just went to the byline, cut it back, and had a shot at goal. Didn't do it. But here's the uh, little scumbag, real rat face, goes to shoot. Now, what he's done, he's done this player because rat face is a well, uh, you know, uh, class player. He plays for Portugal internationally against a League One player who's just been done like a kipper. So he's diving on the floor. Like, genuinely, if he's a good defender, the rule is stay on your feet, mate, block the shot. He's not a great defender. He's playing in League One and he's gone to ground to try to block the shot. And his trailing leg has caught Bruno there. Is it a foul? No. Is it contact? Yes. But contact does not mean it's a foul. Just like I said the other week with the Jota dive uh, for Liverpool against Newcastle. 
There was a little bit of contact, but it wasn't a foul. It wasn't enough to go down. And, you know, you're having a laugh. Same again there. It's contact, but it's not a foul. Let's have a look at it from the other angle. Of course, there's no VAR. And honestly, I kind of like the FA Cup not having VAR. It makes it a little bit more fun. But in comes the big man. He's going to try to tackle, block the shot. Look, you can see Fernandez has wound himself up. He's getting ready to pull the trigger. And off he goes. Bosh. Cuts it back. Great. All he needs to do now is pick his pass across the goal and get himself an easy tap in. See what he can do with his left foot. He catches him there. Look, he's got all of his weight on that foot there. There's no reason for him to go down at all. But he does. Uh, he jumps onto the floor, holds his ankle and not his toe. He's at his toe, not his ankle. So why are you holding your ankle? That's why he's a cheat. And he gets his penalty. As I was saying about the Jotter incident, that if that doesn't happen last week or so, or maybe two weeks ago, he never dives. And I think that's just absolutely terrible. Jolly should have been yellow carded. Bruno Fernandes should have been yellow carded. And then it doesn't happen next week. But it will. Let's watch him slot the penalty in. Up his steps. Come on, that face. Kick it into the net box. It's a quality penalty, to be fair. Slides it into the corner. But stop diving. I'll see you next time on Cash Talks Football.